taking any um, advantage of any, any offerings that the center has to offer? And if so, what are they? And can you speak a little bit about, about those things? Um, when I first converted to Islam, there was a course at the center um, for converts to Islam or reverts um, teaching new Muslims. And basically we would go in and ask all of our questions and it was really good because everyone was in the same position. We were all going through the same. It was like a support group kind of with a, a guide uh, teacher. <laughs> um, and I'm still friends with those people so it was really good to go in because I wouldn't have met the new Muslims otherwise. Um, it really brought us together and we asked any question, we asked all questions that you can imagine. <laughs> And uh, it was really good resource for us in the beginning, teaching us how to pray, teaching us how to deal with our families because it's a shock for our families. Um, what that would can't eat pork, basic things that um, some people might not realize that a new Muslim needs to know and needs to be told. Um, and then later on, I decided to start taking Arabic classes, which is also offered at the CID. And um, they've been really great. They have a really good teacher, Muhammad Yafa, and uh, he's knowledgeable about Islam, about the Quran. He's studied Arabic, uh, the language, and he's also studied linguistics and can apply them. He's really good, mashallah, and um, it, a really strong resource that we have here um, for teaching. I've met other people who are interested in Islam, and I just remember how I felt at that time. <laughs> And um, I remember how nice people were with me, so I try and, and do the same because I know it had a big influence on me. Um, it's, it's really nice to see the, the people coming and I hope that we can continue to give them the support that, that I had at the time. Um, what, you know, towards that summer, you know, when you were reinvesting, what struck you about Islam that you said, this is something interesting here. What what was it in particular or any or many or a couple of things? What what when you started reading what, what appealed to you? Um I was at a point in my life when I felt like everything like there was no morals in this society and just everything seemed to be reinforcing that and I was just wondering what is the point of life <laughs> if everyone is just so greedy, take 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 um, be independent and and it was just frustrating and kind of discouraging and then when I started reading about Islam um, I realized that life isn't like that life is like sharing and um, there's a purpose to living there's a purpose to worship our Creator that we were created um, there are guidelines for living and the reason that you should be good and not greedy or not taking advantage of others is because there's an afterlife and you're going to be accountable for that and it seemed to just make perfect sense for the time of my life that I was in and then um, from there I learned about the miracles that are in the Quran and, and other things like that that help support it but that was basically what called me to Islam. Um, any advice for people out there who may be a little lost and searching and hurting and there's a lot out there isn't there some don't even know they're hurting and some know they're hurting, but don't even know the first, you know, step of, oh, maybe there's another way, you know, because all they see is just the physical, you can get this, buy this, do this, it'll, it'll, it'll make you feel better, and life goes on, and maybe somebody's watching you right now, uh, as a person that's grown up here, you know, that now you you know you you made a change and how it's affected you. What what advice do you have for someone that may be watching you that is feeling like they just don't get it? What's going on? Mm, basically, I just started reading about different religions and even reading different religions. Then you realize which ones for you and. I think that would be Islam, <laughs> obviously, but I think in reading about other religions I realized how strong Islam is. Um, and also someone had given me the advice, They, I wasn't even sure if I believed in God before, I was really questioning everything, but they said if you have a small belief in God, um, then just pray to God to guide you. And this was before I was interested in Islam, I mean if anyone has any belief in a creator, 
just pray in whatever way and ask for guidance and then that's how you can be guided to the truth. That's what the advice was given to me and as I was praying, I would pray all the time and then um, I found myself learning more and more and more about Islam. Well, I know it's a struggle, like when you become Muslim, it's not just easy <laughs> after that. That's when the true test become, or that's when the true test starts. And um, like we're always going to be tested on our faith, so you just have to be strong and um, keep praying and asking for guidance. Surround yourself with good people who are knowledgeable about Islam, because it can also be really confusing when someone who says that they're Muslim tells you one thing and someone who says that they're Muslim tells you another thing. So just make sure that you're going to the right um, people, whether it be an Imam or um, someone at the mosque, because having Muslim friends doesn't necessarily mean that they, they know how to advise you. That, that may be one of the benefits of becoming a Muslim. Born Canadian, become a Muslim, you can learn it yeah. from sort of do your own investigation. You don't just learn it from the way your father practices or your mother practices. You, mm -hmm. you dig out the, the way. Yeah. And sometimes it can be um, confusing because you see other Muslims, like you want the easy path, Thanks. like when you convert to Islam, you think, okay, I converted, I'm going to pray, but I'll never wear hijab or I'll be one of those Muslims, like look at all these women who are strong in their belief and they don't wear hijab or I keep using the hijab as an example, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. There's other things like they go to parties or something, and but they still pray. So I want to be like I can be like them. But then you realize that you shouldn't take Islam from how people act because it doesn't mean that it's correct. Like that's how I started. Is oh I'll I'll fit so much better. <laughs> I'll fit in so much better if I can take this moderate path. Mm -hmm. But then as I read and and learned then you realize that, no, I have to take this next step because if you really want to submit in Islam, then you have to do as as we're supposed to. So, Do you find uh, when you submit, you say sometimes it's hard, but then you do, what benefits do you receive from submitting in your life? What, what does it do for you as a person submitting mm -hmm. to your Creator? Things become easier, like, I find my life is so much less dramatic now. <laughs> like, it's, um, I mean, it's not always easy, but um, you do get a lot of peace when you make, you know you've made a good decision, and so you feel stronger about yourself, you feel happier, you feel more at peace in knowing that you're doing the right thing, and um, inshallah you get reward from that. How does, uh, how does Islam give you hope? Well, Islam makes me feel more positive about life in general, knowing that there's a purpose. Um, it gives me hope that we can work together as a community and and make changes in the things that I grew up finding wrong about the society. I hope that we can have a good influence um, for our children growing up. How are we supposed to deal with people that, you know, our Christian friends and, and people that don't have the same religious beliefs that we do. Um, well, we're supposed to. We're supposed to respect everyone. I think there's even a, a surah about respecting the surah al kafirun. That is, is, to you, your religion; to me, mine. Yeah. But sure. So um, we're supposed to keep good relations. With yeah, we're supposed to deal with everyone, as long as they don't tell us to do something against Islam, then we should have respect. And I just think, um, like, if if people had treated me bad, I never would have converted to Islam, <laughs> like if all the Muslims had rejected That's one of the things that my mom really supports, is she sees the change in me, and she really, she's so happy with it. She can, like, night and day. <laughs> overall change was definitely worth it mm -hmm. and uh, she's really happy and she defends it with other people. She comes to Islamic events, she always has wonderful things to say about the women that she meets at the events. So, yeah. So we have to, like, you never know who's going to be become a Muslim. Even people who completely reject Islam, mm -hmm. like, if you have patience with them, they can become Muslims.